I'm still enabled here. Can you still hear me? Yeah, Rob, we still got you on. So oh, okay. very, feel free very to jump good. in. Okay, very good. Thank you, Dan. Uh, they are in the process of uh, gently uh, hoisting the second of the three crew members uh, out of the top of the hatch. And we're standing by. We can see the crew members back. Any idea who it is yet? I'm trying to get into position to see. Scott Kelly. Scott Kelly, back on Mother Earth after 340 days in space, Dan. Thumbs and up. We got a great view of him now. Uh, the folks here in Mission Control Houston letting out a, a very big cheer. Scott Kelly, uh, as you just said, returned after 340 days in space. NASA's one year crew member uh, conducted a lot of very important research back down on Mother Earth back down in Kazakhstan where he launched from just about 12 months ago. Over here, please. <laughs> and so much like Volkov before him, Kelly now being loaded over into his chair. Dad, I'm going to make my way over to the other side of the chairs here. We're scuffed. Everything. Okay, sounds good, Rob. We'll Stand by. We can see the uh, the NASA team. You can see Sean Fuller there just behind Scott Kelly. He's the uh, director of all the NASA operations out there in Russia. You're asking everyone to step back. Here comes, we step back. Step back and don't interfere. And we're seeing a big smile from Scott Kelly there. You can see just to his right, Steve Gilmore, uh, Scott's prime flight surgeon for his year in space. No stranger to cold landings in Kazakhstan. This is his fourth mission, his second landing in a Soyuz. Uh, 520 total days uh, in space across his uh, space flight career, 340 days in this historic year in space. And Dan, uh, Scott just looked at us and said, uh, the air feels great out here. I have no idea why you guys are all bundled up. With uh, temperatures hovering right around freezing, I imagine you guys are thankful for your jackets, but for somebody who hasn't uh, had the breeze on his face for almost a year, I bet it feels pretty great out there right now. And back over at the capsule, we can see uh, Mikhail Kornienko, the other one-year crew member outside the capsule, getting ready to get carried over as well. Do you work for Mission Control? And Dan, uh, Scott Kelly absolutely relishing the fresh air out here in the mid-morning hours here in, uh, in the southern steppe of Kazakhstan, breathing deeply, enjoying every second of his return to Earth. And we just saw Mikhail Kornienko go down the slide. He's getting carried over, so he'll be joining you shortly as well. So with that, all three crew members out of the Soyuz capsule safely down there on the step in Kazakhstan. One year mission, guys. I'm fine. Okay, yes, uh, we covered him up, wrapped him up. How are you? And so, Rob, now all the initial medical checkouts are about to begin. Is the medical tent set up there on site? And uh, yes, it is. It's directly behind us, Dan. Guys, uh, move away. As uh, is Everybody the custom, guys. they will carry uh, each of the crew members one by one. Uh, this short distance, it's about a 50 yard uh, haul uh, to carry the crew members into the medical tent where they will, uh, as I said earlier, uh, have their sofa lunch and entry suits removed and then uh, have an opportunity uh, to uh, undergo about an hour to an hour and a half worth of field testing, uh, which is the first uh, critical biomedical measurement of uh, all of their uh, uh, all, 
all of their uh, biomedical functions. Uh, that will be the initial test of their response uh, to a gravity environment for the first time in a year. While we exercise there on a regular basis. Yeah. Is it the old, the old tradition? And then uh, very swift work made by uh, the Energia folks. Uh, Sergey Volkov, uh, uh, just a few feet away from me, uh, his father is uh, kneeling down right next to him. Uh, what a picture that is. Father and son, cosmonaut heritage that has spanned several decades of Russian space history. Everything as we, taught, as we were taught. And we just had a, a great view of that. Saw Scott Kelly with a satellite phone in his hand, uh, assuming, uh, making a call to friends and family, uh, eagerly awaiting his return here to Houston, just about 24 hours away or so from now. A lot of smiles from all three crew members now safely out of that Soyuz vehicle.